morning. Welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday where today we are talking about breasts. Big ones, little ones, medium ones, whether you want to call them boobs, breasts, knockers, tatas, whatever you want, we are here today to talk about breasts. So to start off, why do men have breasts to start with? The reason why is because when a fetus is first formed, one of the first things that develops is breasts and nipples. And then around six weeks gestation is when if a Y chromosome develops, a fetus will turn into a male uh, baby. So the breasts and nipples are already in place and instead of them disappearing, so to speak, because that just doesn't happen, um, that is why men have breasts. So us women, once we reach puberty, our breasts stay full for the rest of our lives. We always have full breasts. And scientists aren't quite sure why this is because if we look at primates, which are our closest biological relatives, their breasts only stay full when they need them to be for lactating and nursing their young. So one theory why women have full breasts throughout life once they reach puberty is simply to attract a mate. Another little fact, almost all women have breasts that are uneven. One's bigger, one's smaller, it's just a fact of life. No breasts are symmetrically perfect. The first silicon implants were performed by Dr. Frank Garrow in 1962 on Timmy Jean Lindsay in Texas. And now today, over 300,000 Breast augmentations are performed in the United States alone. That is a lot of boob surgeries. Women have been binding their breasts for centuries now in one way or another. But in 1914, an American woman named Mary Phelps Jacobs patented the first official bra design. And the way she did it was by taking two handkerchiefs, sewing them together, and attaching them with ribbons. Then in 1948, Frederick Millinger of Fredericks of Hollywood introduced the world to the very first push-up bra. And finally, in honor of Kate Moss's 40th birthday, London's Restaurant 34 commissioned an artist to create a champagne glass modeled after Kate Moss's left breast. The glass has an elongated stem and an art deco design, and the base of the glass actually has Kate Moss's signature on it as well. So if you are ever in London and happen to chance by London's 34 restaurant, feel free to order a glass of champagne and sip it from Kate Moss's left breast. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If there are any fun facts that you want to learn, please let me know and I will see what I can do about that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.